MicroStrategy CEO embraces Bitcoin maximalism. Next on your four minute Bitcoin. Today's show is from a post by Hashan Bashira at Coin Journal and brought to you by Unchained Capital. In the past, MicroStrategy and its CEO had criticized Bitcoin, but now the company has turned to Bitcoin as its primary reserve currency. The CEO of the business intelligence company recently revealed they had bought over 16,000 Bitcoins at an aggregate price of $175 million. At the moment, MicroStrategy has bought a total of 38,250 Bitcoins at a purchase price of $425 million. In his tweet, the CEO Michael Saylor admitted the company uses Bitcoin as its primary reserve currency over the other altcoins. He stated that he believes Bitcoin is a crypto asset network. Unlike stablecoins and Ethereum, which he terms as crypto application networks. Saylor posted a chart from the Bitcoin dominance site, claiming that the dominance of Bitcoin has increased from a low of just over 71% on December 20th, 2017, to over 93% in September 2020. Now, Saylor was a known critic of Bitcoin in the past. In December of 2013, Saylor tweeted that Bitcoin's days are numbered and that he believed it was only a matter of time before Bitcoin suffered a similar fate to online gambling. In a podcast interview with Anthony Popliano that was published last week, Saylor revealed that he had forgotten all about his 2013 tweet until the day he tweeted, that MicroStrategy had bought the $250 million worth of Bitcoins, he added that the Bitcoin community was happy to remind him of his tweet, and he admitted to being wrong about Bitcoin in that tweet. Saylor revealed that he decided to purchase Bitcoin as the company had $500 million in cash on hand and faced the challenge of what to invest in to preserve its value. Now, he had to encourage the company's board to read about Bitcoin and even had to make him watch some videos about Bitcoin to convince him it was the right asset to invest in and to preserve the company's wealth. The CEO believes that Bitcoin, that is a better investment than gold, and stated that Bitcoin is anti-fragile, evolving thing. It's the hardest currency because it's getting continually, exponentially harder but it's also smarter, it's stronger, and it's faster than gold. Now, I believe this could be a start of something big, a big move for Bitcoin. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And this episode is brought to you by Unchained Capital, the world's premier Bitcoin native financial services company, delivering quality products and services for over 200,000 blocks. Visit their site at unchained-capital.com. I'm Gary Leland, the Bitcoin Boomer, and thanks for joining me on another 4-Minute Bitcoin Show. This is a BitBlockBoom.com production.